Hey guys, we have an incoming message. Hello, Agent. Today's mission is to educate the public on the five levels of prevention. Five, five levels, levels of prevention? I don't even know what that is, guys. How are we gonna do that? We better get to work, guys. <laughs> What is public health? Public health focuses on promoting, maintaining, and restoring the health of the population. Now let's take a look at the five levels of prevention. Primordial prevention consists of conditions that minimize hazards to health as well as establishing factors known to increase disease, injury, death, and alteration. Within Canada, the selling of unpasteurized milk has been prohibited as a primitive prevention against life-threatening diseases such as Guillain-Barre and hemolytic syndrome. In order for primitive prevention to come into effect, the responsibility is shared amongst the government, professional, non-governmental organizations, the industry, as well as hospitals, health clinics, health practitioners, and healthcare workers. Primary prevention reduces the incidence of disease by addressing disease risk factors or by enhancing resistance. Some approaches involve active participation, as with regular toothbrushing and flossing to prevent dental decay. Other approaches are passive, by adding fluoride to municipal drinking water to harden tooth enamel and prevent cavities. In primary prevention, there are different responsibilities that need to be implemented. Individual basis includes personal hygiene, healthy lifestyle, vaccination, and preventing disease. Community includes utilizing health facilities, supporting and strengthening health centers, improving sanitation, and food safety. The governmental level encompasses policies and plans, resources, accessibility, and outbreak control. Examples of primary prevention include smoking cessation, preserving good nutritional and physical status, immunization, improving roads, or fluoridization of the water supply. Secondary prevention is detecting a disease in its early stages and having interventions to slow its progression. The three points of secondary prevention is early detection, diagnosis, and treatment. An example of secondary prevention is screening for STIs or PEP tests to screen for cervix cancer and so on. Tertiary prevention are programs and preventive measures that are aimed on reducing or minimizing the effect of the disease once it has developed. Interventions include disability limitations and rehabilitation. An example would be assisting cardiac patients with weight loss. Quaternary prevention are the actions that are taken after a medical procedure has been conducted. These actions or measures are intended to prevent, monitor, or decrease the effects of the medical procedure. This helps avoid complications from unnecessary or excessive interventions. An example would be providing educational workshops to health professionals.